in example three. Billy, captain of football team. Each week he gets a team together, calling his friends one by one and asking if they would play. The probability of each friend agreeing to play is two thirds. Once he has ten other players, he stops calling. Okay, so um, basically it's a negative binomial. He repeatedly um, does trials until he gets 10 successes. Okay, so we needed to pick out that as a negative binomial distribution to start off with. Part A. Number of friends Billy expects to have to call, so it's the expected value of the negative uh, binomial. So your expected value for your negative binomial is R over P. So 10 divided by 2 thirds, which comes out to be 15. Part B, find the probability that Billy has to call exactly 12 friends. So again, we're working with a negative binomial distribution. Probability of X is equal to 12. And uh, again, just use your standard binomial, uh, negative binomial formula. You can use that result, um, or you can just sort of work it out intuitively. Okay, so ordinary negative binomial for part B. And it's in part C where the emphasis changes. Notice the, uh, the telltale signs. So in a season, Billy's team plays 25 matches. Estimate the probability that the mean number of calls per match Billy has to make. So the emphasis has changed. It's now on the mean number rather than on the probability of an in, a number of calls. Okay, it's the mean number of calls. So it's this uh, emphasis on um, now considering the distribution of x bar. Okay, that's the uh, the signs you've got to look for for a central limit theorem style question. Okay, so what do we need? We need the expected value of x of fifteen, which we've worked out above. We want the variance of x, so we can use our uh, r times 1 minus p over p squared formula to get the variance of x. Uh, we need our sample size. It's not bigger than 30, but it's not that far away. We can still provide some kind of estimate. Um, the estimate could be improved by a larger sample size. So x bar will be approximately, uh, if not that, that good, um, equal to approximately a normal distribution with a mean of 15 and 7.5 divided by 25, the 7.5 divided by the n. So we've got our normal and we want to work out the probability that x bar is less than 15.5. Okay, and then uh, just pick it off your calculator to get our answer. So it's this change of emphasis that we've got to look out for the mean number uh, of calls uh, per match. Okay, so you've got to just carefully study your probability statement and consider whether it's a probability about x bar or whether it's a probability uh, about x um, is what to look out for with central limit theorem questions.